Hello friends, welcome to Dexter Diesel. In this video, we are going to make a simple Alexa control home automation system without using any third party IoT application. So for this project, we have used ESP Alexa library to control 4 appliances and 1 fan with Alexa. And if there is no internet, still you can control all the appliances with the mobile Bluetooth app, IR remote and manual switches. During the video, I have shared the complete circuit diagram, source code and all other required details. So after watching the complete video, you can easily make this IoT project for your home. So now before going to the details, let me show you how this project works. Alexa, turn on the room light. Now let me control this fan. Alexa, turn on the fan. Now let me increase the fan speed. Alexa, make the fan speed 75%. And I can also use the Amazon Alexa app to control the fan speed. Let me reduce the fan speed. You can see the fan speed reduced and I can also turn it off from the Amazon Alexa app. Now let me control this light with the mobile Bluetooth app. So let me go to our mobile Bluetooth app and it is showing connected. Now let me press this button to turn off this light and I can press this button to turn on this light. So like that you can control all the appliances with the mobile Bluetooth app. On the PCV you can see this blue LED is glowing which indicates that ES32 is now connected with the Wi-Fi. So let me turn off the Wi-Fi to show you how it works without internet. Now the ESP32 is not connected with the Wi-Fi. So first let me use this IR remote to control the appliances. And I can use these two buttons to increase and decrease the fan speed. Let me turn on the fan first. Then I can use this button to increase the fan speed and this button to decrease the fan speed. And I can also use this manual switch to control the appliances. And with this selector switch again I can control the fan speed manually. And with this switch I can turn off the fan. So this is a very useful IoT project and please check the description if you want to buy this complete project from us. Now without any further delay, let's get started. These are the required components for this project. Now if you are not using this PCB, then you have to connect all these components as per this circuit diagram. In the circuit, I have given the 5 volt supply to ESP32, relay module and the Bluetooth module. Here I am using AC05 Bluetooth module but you can use any other Bluetooth or BLE module. For the Bluetooth control, first I tried to use the inbuilt Bluetooth of the ESP32 but due to this error, I couldn't compile the code so I have used the external Bluetooth device. The circuit is very simple, as you can see, you can easily make this complete circuit on a zero PCB. But still, just to make the circuit compact, I have designed a PCB for this project and order it from the JLC PCB. In JLC PCB, you can also use their PCB assembly service absolutely free. You just have to pay for the components. To use their PCB assembly service, you have to generate three files. You have to generate the PCB GABA file, then BOM file and at last pick and place file. Then visit the JLC PCB, you can find the link in the description. Then you have to upload the GABA file. After that I will scroll down. Now I want all the components should be shouldered on the top side of the PCB. Now I have to upload the BOM file and pick and place file. So here you have to confirm all the component that you want to use for the SMT service. So you can see they are showing approx footprint and you will get all the details here. After checking all this click on save to card and place the order. And in my case I have received this PCB from JLC PCB within a week and as you can see the packing is really good and also the quality is very premium in this affordable price. After soldering all the components the PCB will be look like this. Now first I will connect the ESP32 on the PCB. Then I will connect this selector switch to control the fan speed manually. After that I will connect the AC05 Bluetooth module. This is the 5 volt Bluetooth module. So here you can see I have selected the 5 volt supply. But if you are using any 
3.3 volt Bluetooth module then just place the jumper with the 3.3 volt now let me connect the Bluetooth module with the PCB now I will connect this IR receiver on the PCB so our PCB is ready now we will connect this ESP32 with the laptop for programming this is the source code for this project you can download this code from our website rtcircuithub.com just visit the article you can find a link in the description then you can download the code from this button now let me open this code in Arduino IDE for this project I have used the 2.0.5 version of the ESP32 board and these are the required libraries for this project I have also mentioned the version so please do install only this version for this project then you have to enter the Wi-Fi name and the Wi-Fi password after that you have to define the device names Alexa will identify that particular appliances with this name so you can give any name as per your requirement after that you have to update the hex code of the IR remote buttons I have already explained how to get hex code from any IR remote during my previous video you can refer those videos now if you refer the same circuit then after doing these changes you can directly upload this code to ESP32 for that go to tools select the board as do it ESP32 dev kit v1 then select the proper port then hit the upload button after programming the ESP32, now we have to add devices with the Amazon Alexa app. So let me open the app and first I will go to device. Then I will tap on this plus icon and select add device. Here I will select light. Then from this list I will select other. Then I will tap on this Wi-Fi button and now I will tap on discover devices now during this time the esp32 mobile phone and the eco device must be connected with the same wi-fi network and this may take some time and here you can see five devices found and connected so let me tap on next and these are the device now, now let me go to the device and here you will find all the lights let me tap on the lights and you can see all the lights is here let me turn on studio light toilet light now we will quickly install the bluetooth app so let me go to apk then let me install this app you can also download this app from the video description now let me open this app so this is our bluetooth switch app now before using this app we have to turn on the bluetooth then we have to pair the ac05 bluetooth module so let me go to bluetooth device and under the available device let me tap on the ac05 then here i have to enter the password 1234 then tap on pair after that i have to give another permission to this app so that it can search for nearby bluetooth device so again i will go to setting then i will go to apps after that app management then here I have to select the Bluetooth switch app which we have just installed then tap on permission then you have to give this permission so that the app can search for nearby Bluetooth device so I will tap on nearby device and then I will select allow after that I will open the app again so this is our app now let me tap on connect then from this list I will select AC05 and here it is showing connected so if I press this button you can see I can control the appliances you can see the respective relay turns on now please refer to this circuit diagram to connect all the appliances with this PCB and please take proper safety precaution while working with the high voltage now our home automation system is ready here you can see this blue LED is glowing which indicates the ESP32 is connected with the Wi-Fi and for this project the ESP32 and the eco dot device must be connected with the same Wi-Fi network but you can control all these appliances from anywhere in the world with the Amazon Alexa app so here you can see I have turned on the mobile data so my mobile is not connected with any Wi-Fi still I can control the appliances with the Amazon Alexa app so you can control all the appliances from anywhere in the world 
using this Amazon Alexa app, only the Echo Dot and the ESP32 must be connected with the same Wi-Fi network. So if you find this project helpful then please hit the like button and share it with your friends. You can also support our work on Patreon, you can find the link in the description. And don't forget to subscribe for more such videos. Thank you for watching, have a great day.